What is up, YouTube? Today is going to be a super quick video. If you are ha having problems um, with the permission denied error uh, on RetroPie, hopefully this should make the setup of your RetroPie a lot easier. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you an example of the error. So if I open config, let's say uh, I go to the boot and I want to update my clock. So let's say I want to... Uh, let's say I want to drop the clock to 1300 or if I want to do any changes here um, if I click save uh, you'll get this error so it's, in certain parts of Linux you'll get this error because you won't have uh, root access or sudo access uh, this is using WinSCP so a bit of a pain there are ways around it but there's a super quick fix you can do to stop this from popping up okay so this is assuming that you've connected to your device via WinSCP so I'm connected to currently a Raspberry Pi and it's not letting me change it okay so the first thing you need to do is open put it then you need to connect to your device however you normally connect to it so in my case it's uh, I think it's 215 at the moment so you log in uh, pass username pi password raspberry now the, fir the first thing you want to do is change or add the root password or in fact no the first thing you want to do is you want to edit the config file to allow the root to be connected to via winscp okay so the command to do that will be sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash ssh because we want to edit the ssh config sshd underscore config okay so this will be the this you can actually access this via winscp but you won't be able to edit it so at this point you want to scroll all the way down to uh i'll know it when i see it i do it all the time and i always forget what it's called it's, it's literally the first thing i do when i'm starting to make an image because it just makes everything a lot easier so it's actually located here. So permit root login. You want to take the hashtag out to that so it makes it active. Get rid of the prohibited or whatever that says. You want to say yes, okay? So that's going to allow the root to log in via SSH, okay? So then you click Control X. Hold Control, press X. Press Y to save those changes. And then you want to set the, the root password. So sudo password. So pass wd root. Uh, set that to I'm going to set that to Raspberry, which is the same as the Pi password just for this video. Okay, so now that's been uh, done. So then you want to reboot it. So I'm just going to do sudo shutdown minus r now. So proof of concept. I've just restarted my Pi. Um, and then when your Pi finally boots up, you want to connect to it via WinSCP again. But this time, you're going to edit the username and you're going to connect to it via root and then the password that you've just set for the root. So if I click save here, that will um, do that. And then if I log in, hopefully it should let me log in. Yep. So and if I try and do the same change now, so let's say uh, let's say I want to blaze this overclock to, to 1,500. Probably wouldn't recommend clocking it that high, but just as a test. So this is saved. There's no permission errors. If I close that and open it again, as you can see, uh, it's still set to that. Okay, so that was a super quick video uh, of how to manage completely through WinSCP. I hope you find that useful. You can edit, you can edit anything anywhere now, pretty much. But just be careful what you do because there are things that would break it. That's the whole point of. That's the beautiful thing about Linux. Um, you you always you never log in as the root, so you can't actually break anything. Even Emulation Station logs in as Pi by default, and it's mainly just to protect the user and protect things from getting broken. All right, guys, appreciate that. Hope you found it useful. I'll be dropping another video on how to fix images that have been updated. So if you've updated your Retro Pi, I'm going to show you a lot of the fixes. Hopefully, one of them will be correct for you because I know a lot of people have problems updating their images and then they can't do anything on them. And it's just a video basically to try and hopefully repair your image so you don't have to re-add all your content back to it. All right, peace out, guys. See you later in the next video.